individual thresholds that relate to a person's fitness. One is called the ventilatory threshold. When you first start to breathe a little faster and a little deeper, but you can um, still comfortably, relatively comfortably do the exercise. You just have to focus um, and concentrate. And then there is the respiratory compensation point, and that's where not only are you now breathing very fast and very deep, but you kind of see the end coming. You know that the, you have a couple of minutes left in the tank, but you know that the end is coming, right? So below the ventilatory threshold, we call that range of intensity moderate. Between ventilatory threshold and respiratory compensation, we call that range heavy intensity. And then above respiratory compensation and all the way to max, we call that severe. And we said that you can think of the relationship as having perhaps this kind of shape for individual A. So individual A feels better in the moderate range and then starts to feel worse and worse and worse in the heavy and severe ranges. Individual B, on the other hand, feels better doing moderate, continues feeling better doing heavy, but then he or she also feels worse doing severe intensity. So then you can think of the range of exercise intensity as consisting of three zones. There is a zone of homogeneous responses. That is the moderate intensity range where everybody feels better. And that better is usually high activation, pleasant feeling, like an energy uh, uh, sensation. Then you have another zone of homogeneous responses. But in this case, it's displeasure. Everybody feels worse. And then in between, sandwiched between those two, you have a zone of response variability where you might find some people liking this, and then you might find other people disliking. 